What's up fam, we are back again with another tutorial and today I'll be teaching you guys how to make dreamy guitar beats from scratch, you know, something similar to Ghana, Lil Baby and Lil Mose type beats, you know. So with this tutorial, I have, you know, um, contact libraries, you know, with the guitars and some dreamy um, guitar samples, you know. So let's go and, let's get into the tutorial. So I'll be starting with the jazz guitar and my key is in G minor. My tempo is also at 140, so let's start building the... Uh, you know the chord progression and the melodies and all the stuff so i like this chord progression let me extend it then let me copy it to the other side then we start building the melody Okay, I like the way this melody is going, so let me delete this one then, let me copy this one to the other side. So I'll make changes at this section to give the, the you know, the, the melody some variation. Okay, I like it. I like the way it's going. So let me go on to the um, other guitar um, sample. Okay, I like the way that one turned out. So let me just bounce it into waves. Then you know my 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 PC cracks a lot, so let me just bounce it into waves. Then we continue with it. So I have my melodies, my wave melodies in my um, playlist. So let's start putting some effects on it. So let me send them to the mixer channel. Then we start you know putting effects on it. So let me load a third-party plugin. Let me reduce the reverb and the delay. Okay, I like the way it's sounding. Let me check out the guitar effects. Okay, so with this one, I'll put a stereo enhancer on it, you know, it's kind of like, um, you are not hearing the, both the first guitar and the, the guitar effect. So let me put a stereo enhancer on it, then let's check it out and see what will happen, you know. Okay, so let's listen to it with the main guitar. Okay, let me place a reverb on it. So let me bring the dryness down. Let me increase the wetness. Then let me reduce it here. Okay, I'm pretty sure this one will create the space, you know. So let's listen to it. Okay, I like the way everything is going. So let's start working on the um, hi-hats. So let me fill in the two steps. Then we go into the piano roll and start, you know, doing editing. So let me copy it to the other side. Then let's edit it. So I like the way this one is going. Let me copy it to the other side. Then we move on to another drum. So now let's start working on the claps. Sorry, I don't like this clap. Let me change it. Okay, so let me let me bend everything to the pattern. Then we listen to how it sounds. Okay. 
okay so let me put a panomatic on my hi-hat so let me go to pan let me increase the speed a little bit let me increase the amount now let's listen to how it sounds yeah just like that so let's listen to it with everything okay so now let's work on the percussions Okay, so with this one i'll just delete this ones then i'll keep the uh, main ones so let's move on to the other um, percussion okay so with this one i'll just um, give it the those um, snare bounce so i'll move it to the g the g key now let's listen to how it sounds Okay, so I like the way everything is sounding. Now let's let's work on the 808. So let me take this ones off. So let me cut the 808. Now let's listen to how it sounds. Okay, let me EQ the 808 a little bit. It's sounding too busy. Okay, let's listen to it with everything. Okay, I like how it's sounding, but you know, as you can hear, it's not mixed. It's not all that mixed perfectly, you know. I don't have any EQ on the guitar. So, you know, the bass sound, the bass frequencies of the guitar is clashing with the 808 frequency. So, just bear with me, okay? So, see you in the next tutorial. Peace out.